Hello, and welcome to the summer reading program, Puzzle Canvas Art. My name is Cody Elliott, the Adult Teen Services Programmer at the Camo County Public Library. Um, today, what we're going to need is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. This is a really nice hard cardstock. Um, some puzzle pieces. Some Q-tips. Paintbrush. Some tacky glue. And I have some brown and green paint. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your paintbrush and your, your brown paint and you're going to want to paint a tree. Um, it's just a brown basic tree. Um, in order to save some time, I'm going to skip some steps. I've already painted out the tree. It's simple. You can do it horizontal or vertical. It doesn't matter how you want to, how you want to paint it. Just paint a basic, you know, leafless tree. Okay, now once you have your tree painted, all we're going to do is we're going to add puzzle pieces to it. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip and your puzzle pieces, take some tacky glue, put it onto the back of your puzzle piece. And you can be generous with your tacky glue. And then you kind of want to put it onto the branches of your tree. Now these puzzle pieces will be your leaves, so you're going to want to decorate it uh, as much as possible. If you have certain puzzle pieces that are more colorful than others, and you want to you know, plot out your placement beforehand, go ahead and do that. I'm going to slowly add some more. Do some real quick before I skip on ahead. Now, if you want to, um, you can always take some green paint, and before you put this on your puzzle pieces on here, um, you can always paint them so you can always have like green leaves. It's really optional for this because some people like the color of the puzzle pieces. Whereas other people like more traditional colors of the leaves. Um, of course, you can always choose to do other colors besides green. You can do, you know, some fall colors, some orange, yellows, and uh, reds to make it more pop, like it's a fall. Um, if you want to do some more funkier things, you can always do like pink for some cherry blossoms. If you want to make it more magical, you can do some, you know, purples and blues. Um, that's a, that's completely up to you. Um, you can always either. You know, paint the puzzle pieces beforehand, or you can always do it um, after you've already placed your puzzle pieces down. Um, another thing you can do is um, to create some, you know, more three-dimensional effects um, because there's also some like there's some small gaps in in my puzzle pieces here, like where you can see some of the branches and some empty space. You can always stack more puzzle pieces on top of it. To make it like more blossom out. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. So I'm just gonna put some on top. Like I said, be generous or it may not stick. I'm not a fan of using the corner pieces because they can be a little, um, they, don't, they don't look as leafy to me because you have like a, just a straight line. Um, but they can be, you know, used um, however you choose to. I'm just going to hurry ahead here. And if I see some empty space, just pop it on top of the pre-glued pre puzzle pieces already. As you can see, it's starting to come along. 
Um, for, the, for your own convenience, um, I'm going to skip ahead here and show you what my final product would kind of look like. Um, so I'm going to move this off to the side and I've already pre-made one. Um, so of course you can see that there is the side with um, that hasn't been painted just straight puzzle pieces. It's been stacked like I only put like one on top of the, on top of them, so it doesn't like come like out into your face because that would make the piece of paper a lot heavier. Of course, you can also choose to do the option of you know like I said painting your puzzle pieces to put onto your tree. Um, this is optional. Um, I did not provide the materials in the take and makes. Um, but like I said, you can do green, you can do yellow, you can do orange, however, whatever colors you want your tree to be, you can do that. Um, some people like the, the more creative side of the puzzle pieces, where some people like the more traditional, um, leafier version. Um, well, anyways, thank you for coming to my program.